So now we have our first exam, and so hopefully you've had some time to kind of get familiar with uh, working with Sam, but I do want to kind of just uh, walk through what to expect with this exam. It's a little different than, say, some of our assignments, so I just want to make sure everyone's okay with what we get. Now, the first thing I actually recommend, I personally do not like this calendar. It, I mean, if you want to keep using it, you basically would select wherever you see these uh, displays. So let's say for example I'm in my internet class, I have an exam today, all I have to do is click on the exam and it'll pop up. The reason why I don't kinda like this is if I click on today, as you can see, nothing's happening. So I don't see what's available, what's due. To what I do actually recommend is this guy, this activity list right here. Uh, that actually will take me, and as you can see it gives me a list of all of my assignments, everything that's going to be available in this class, when it's due, uh, when it becomes available, everything. So a little bit easier. Uh, just like I said, we start with our module one exam. If we click on that, you see that we get a little bit of our details. One thing to take note of is for our performance task questions, instead of the 10 attempts that you got uh, in the assignments, this time you only get three. So don't arbitrarily click on anything. So as soon as we, we hit start, it loads up this screen and we should see something like this. We should see some kind of question, some kind of answer. Uh, for example, we see saving, uh, sending an email message to customers, potential blah, legitimate website, asking them to click a link of a spoof site. It's one of those things. Now I'm not going to say which one it is. I'm gonna actually pick a wrong answer. I'm gonna say it's blogging, which hopefully you know is incorrect. Uh, then what do I do? Well, I do not hit that arrow. I actually hit save answer. Save answer is what's going to uh, set me up that it's recorded and it moves on. So here we see another kind of type. That was a multiple choice question. Here's a uh, performance task question where I'm asked to maximize the documents window so it fills the entire screen. Again, I'm not going to answer this correctly. That way you have to actually do it yourself. But let's say, for example, I click on the start button. Answer incorrect. This is going to ask me two different things. Go to the next item, move to the next question, or retry this one. I only get three attempts, so retry this item. All right, all right. You know, maybe I maybe I was clicking too fast. I'm a little hasty. Um, you know, maybe I click on this guy. No, I didn't mess up. So okay, we get one more attempt. Here's where, like I was saying, if you get it completely wrong after three attempts, watch what happens. I move to the next question. I can't go back to that one. Talking about going back to them. You can see that we actually have uh, this task list down here that allows me to kind of skip through them as I see fit. So if I don't want to answer application software helps perform specific tasks such as document production and database management, I can skip to, oh, the website flowers.org is most likely a blank. So it at least, at least lets me take care of that. Now, if you do kind of run into the fact that you're, you're short on time, you need to quit out of this, I recommend you hit the X button, not the exit button. Are you sure you want to exit? This is going to basically submit your test, and I've only answered two questions. I got them wrong. So I'm going to get a zero on this. Everything that I skipped, or I haven't taken yet, nope, those are all marked incorrect. So I don't recommend doing that. But if I hit X up here, this big X over here, you know, power goes out, whatever, you know. I can come back to it, and guess what? I can start it back up on the fly, perfectly fine. I'm back to the same question I just did, and the questions I've already uh, done are already answered. So it does at least give me a little bit of uh, leeway in that sense. So best of luck on the exam. I'll see you next week.